students from at least five public universities held demonstrations against the new funding model in defiance of their national leaders who called off a nationwide strike. This underscores the need for all parties to seriously engage and reach an amicable, amicable arrangement. The students are pushing for the scrapping of the new model, which is now in its second year of implementation. Instead, they want the old Differentiated Unit Cost DUC reinstated. The raging crisis in the higher education sector is a unanimous rejection of the controversial new model, which should be drastically reorganized or scrapped altogether and a more acceptable alternative introduced. The government has formed two committees to look into the issues raised by the students, their parents and other stakeholders. The new model categorizes applicants as needy or less needy and so on to determine who gets loans for scholarships. The learners are placed in five bands based on their ability to pay, family backgrounds and the cost of courses. New Education Cabinet Secretary Julius Migos Ogamba's announcement of the formation of the committee is a step in the right direction. He has proposed that student leaders join the committees, which will include experts. The protesters want the funding system revised to make education more affordable, especially for students from poor families. The high cost of accommodation and the rigid fees schedules are among the worrisome issues. The DUC, under the Higher Education Loans Board, help system granted students in the various programs uniform funding irrespective of their social status. Now, many wonder why the old help system has been axed to experiment with the new model. The major complaint is that many students have been placed in bands that do not reflect their real financial situations. The students also want the loan interest rate reduced from 4 to 2% per year. The working committees must quickly come up with solid proposals to resolve all the issues. If not possible to restore the DUC, then a new, more appropriate student funding model should be formulated and immediately implemented. That is our memo.